Clay? Hello, yourself. Hand over your valuables. Gold, coins, whatever you got. This is the joke, right? Give me the money bags. Nice and slow. OK. Now take your pants off. <laughs> really? If you think that I'm going to take off my... Scandal. I know, sleep I guess. Wake him up! You post a couple of guards on your door. I don't need protection. This is the act of a coward. Reports of a female bush ranger, sir. She held up the coach from Stanley, fleeced the passengers and told them to strip. Rumor has it she did the same thing to Jack Cannon and his gang. Oh, you think this is funny, do you? You don't deserve to call yourself a policeman. Check with your snitches. Look under every rock. I want her found. And if she has crossed paths with Jack Keenan, we can use it to our advantage. Start with Mary. Find out what she knows. She won't talk. Then you have to be more persuasive, Sergeant! I was thinking, after the school, what do you say we head west? <laughs> west? Yeah. I've been told there's good times to be had there, Jay. You always think it's going to be different someplace else. But would you just imagine it? The streets are paved in gold, and there's beautiful women with their own teeth and dream hands. Rocks. Gold. Dream hands. Dream hands. <laughs> All right, I'll picture that. Any other guns? Pleasure was all mine, I'm sure. Hey there. All right. Trade Macau for this lot. It's kind of dark in here, isn't it? Ah, oh, you get used to it. You would know someone was robbing you from two feet away. I could be a blind man and know I'd be safe from pilferers. See those walls? Three feet thick rammed earth. See those bars? Three inch thick reinforced iron. You met Cyril on the way in. Bare knuckle champion from Goulburn. Can kill a man with his hands. But still, how can I be certain my gold will be safe? What did I just say? No one can steal from here. It can't be done. And if this is what they came for, they'd be wasting their time. Well, not even a few pennyweights. Not even a skerrick of a pennyweight. But you can pay me for testing. I see now we know who's doing the robbery around here. Very good, then. It can't be done. What do you mean? Hey, what about the West? What about the pretty girls, Jack? What about... But there's got to be a way to do this. Let's something else. Let's go. I don't like these pants of gunpowders. Don't fit or something. Better than seeing your bony ass, Dan. I don't like them. All right, don't do anything sudden, but I think we're being trailed. How many do you reckon? Not sure. What did I say? I said don't do anything sudden. I don't see anyone back there. See that boulder up ahead? Which one? The one on the left or the one on the right? The one on the right. 
What was the difference? You can hide behind a boulder. What do you reckon? Traps? Shh, shh, shh. Why'd you shoot at us? I got your attention, didn't I? Are you alone? Yep. Should make you take your clothes off. You could. Or I could help you steal the gold instead. I don't know what you're talking about, what gold? Do you want to play 20 questions and get nowhere? Or do you want to admit that you were casing the gold assayers? <clears throat> I say you take your clothes off. <laughs> you may as well give us back our money while you're at it. My studs. <laughs> hey, those are my pants. Last time I was aiming to miss. See, I knew you wanted to get into my pants. Oh, don't right, 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 Easy, yourself. easy, easy, easy. So what were you saying? What do you know about the gold? I know there's a way to get it. Now, the only way into this little beauty is via this reinforced steel door. It sits about here. Thanks, Captain. Charge a double for that. On the inside is an inner chamber. It's locked at all times, steel bars. Except for when the gold's being stored or transported. When's that? I've got a contact for that. Conrad, <laughs> I want you that. and the captain. Yeah, which one am I? Sorry? Am I the gun that or the bullet? What difference does it make? Well, if there's none, I'll be the bullet. Hey, oh, yeah, but I'm not a gun that either, neither. Either. Happy? Happy. OK. As I was saying, Conrad, you and the captain will wait here to load the gold. Jesse, once you and I are inside, Dan, you will lower the explosives in through the roof. No. No. No, you're not happy being a gunman. Here you are. You're a nice big shiny... Dan! Dan? Dan? I'm not happy with this plan, Jack. What's wrong with the plan, Dan? It's a good plan. Well, well it's a good plan if you don't mind putting your trust in someone we barely even know. She told us exactly how we can get it to go. She held us up. She took her clothes, man. She could have shot us and she didn't. Oh, really? Is that right? Oh, well, that makes it all better than Jack. You know, you're the one that told me that this job was impossible. <laughs> Is that what's going on, Jack? Aren't you afraid to be outdone by a woman? Oh, shut, shut up. Shut up. Is there a problem? <laughs> Yeah, there is a problem. I don't trust you. And you're wearing my pants. Okay. Now look, Conrad. You're having a good stare. Oh, I have an interest in human anatomy. You're just perving. Well, hey. do you want him? No. Keep him. This plan requires precision timing. <laughs> One wrong move from anyone, Fuller will be all over us. Where'd you get it? I got my sources. Ah, I can't remember the last time I had jam. What do you want for it? Why so suspicious? Well, I know a man bearing gifts usually wants something in return. The man who gave me this ribbon wanted me to read him stories naked. Thank you, Ruby. I told him, sorry, can't read. I do want something. Your company. It's a beautiful day outside. Um, I can't. I've got work to do. Well, the thing about work is it'll be waiting here for you. This offer may not come around again. Come on, Mary. Let's say we steal ourselves an hour. OK. Let's get something straight. The only reason I'm giving you this job is because your father owns a paper. So keep out of my way and we might get along. Can you make coffee? No. Wrong answer. Oh, then. Good. These need to be covered for the next issue. Surprise me. Show me you can write. The baptism of Luke Jeffries, school fate, obituaries. 
What about a story on the female bushranger everyone's talking about? Sure. You give me an exclusive interview, I'll print it. Miss Five. Please don't give me a headache on your first day. Just cover the list. What? What is it? Just admiring the view. <laughs> Tell me more about Mary Barrett. Oh, you know everything there is to know, Mick. I'm an open book. But one that's possibly misread. What do you mean? Strong businesswoman on the outside, running three establishments in hope to buy herself. On the inside, a more vulnerable Mary, too scared to show up. I think the book is getting a little too sentimental. <laughs> you heard about this female bushranger? Uh, the town is buzzing with talk about it. Most of it exaggerated, no doubt. One rumour has her holding up Jack and demanding he take off his pants. <laughs> I would have liked to have seen that. She's half as good looking as what they say she is. Maybe he didn't mind. Uh, <laughs> mm. You don't reckon they're riding together, do you? Jack and... Jesse. Just something I heard. I wouldn't know about that. <sighs> you got a bit of jam on your mouth right now. Mistake. Oh, uh, no. No, it was mine. Um, I have to get back. Mary, wait. You wait here. I won't be long. Uh, I don't take kindly to orders. Well, I have to go and see my contact alone. It's bloody pointless. It's extra work. There's no extra pay. Who wants to waste time chasing ghosts? He can do it himself. Hello. <laughs> can I go now? Yeah. 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 Hey, where are you heading in such a hurry? Uh, nowhere. Just been out riding is all. What are you doing here? Uh... Hi. Hi. Aren't you going to introduce us? Yeah, this is Mary. Mary runs the pub. Uh... Mary Jesse, Jesse Mary. I better go. You better too. Scanlon will be along in a minute. I'm Mick Scanlon, Will. Right. Willie, how, how do you know that? I was just with... He will be. That's all. Oh. Really got to go. See ya. Yeah! Can we trust her? Yeah, we can trust her. So, the rumours are true. What rumours? You and Jesse? Something going on there? You introduced me as the woman who runs the pub. What did you want me to say? So, hey, this is Mary, the woman who lets me visit her from time to time. When she's not spending time with Sergeant Scanlon. Which is where you just were, wasn't it? What if I was? He's interested in me. We talk like normal people. It's got an agenda. And um, wouldn't that be the same as yours? No, see, I care about you. He's just using you to get to, get to me. To my bed. Of course. It is all about you. Yeah, damn right it is. <laughs> so your team now? You and Jesse? Not exactly, no. Just go. I never thought you'd make do with Scanlon.
Got that information for me? The gold escort arrives tomorrow afternoon. Hey, I don't know what you're planning, but that wagon is heavily guarded. Who says I'm planning anything? Not me. Hey, don't get yourself killed. Keep a man waiting. Oh. Talk to you outside for a minute, Jack. I'll be right back. So we're going to call this plan off now. It's a temporary hitch, that's all. What do we know about it, Jack? Huh? I know enough. Mate, mate, you don't know anything. Too busy staring at her assets. Being blinded by what a woman has to offer is your failing down. It's not mine. <laughs> is that right? The plan's still on. <laughs> you learn anything? Nothing so far. Well, if you can't get the job done, maybe I need someone who can. You. Clark, sir. Go. Get some men together. Get me information, Sergeant, or get out of my way. I need back copies. Everything you've got for the last three years. I need information about a certain Henry West. I'll see what I can find. Good. Superintendent, there are rumours going around town. I don't listen to rumours, Miss Five. In that case, is it true you had a late night visit from the female bushranger? Please excuse my young charge. Her keenness for a story has affected her judgment. Indeed. I heard she put a knife to your throat. Now, unless you can put intent to the reason, I can only hazard a guess as to why. Guess away. I'm sure our readers would like to be involved. Your readers? Two what? days and she's the editor. This is what I've got so far. She must be quite a woman to get the jump on the great Francis Fuller. Don't confuse notoriety with being worthy of note, Amelia. This woman you so admire is nothing more than a common criminal and deserves what she's got coming. A long drop. Let me know if you find anything else. Stay away from what you don't understand. You heard him, he threatened me. No, he gave you sound advice. Keep your nose out of police business. Fuller's not somebody I want offside. Sorry, Captain. Didn't mean to take over your place for the whole night. Oh, no, that's all right. I sleep outside all the time. 
My contact tells me it's today. Today? Uh, it just keeps getting better, doesn't it, Jack? So who's she contacting in? He's a trap who doesn't mind talking for the right coin. Oh, is that the same trap that stuck a knife to you, is he? No. Oh, no, this is another trap. Yeah, that's right. Right. He's just doing it for a bit of ha-ha, a bit of funny. <laughs> no, he? I put a knife to his throat. <sighs> he fought back. Oh. Whose throat did you put a knife to? Fuller! What are you talking about? What's your history with Fuller? I just wanted him to admit what he'd done. What are you talking about? Admit what? He killed my husband. Don't you say anything. I don't want to hear it. Are you still saying that she's not affecting your better judgment, Jack? My better judgment left me when I started riding with you, Dad. Mate, you don't even know her, Jack. You know me. Yeah, I know you. I know you're lazy. I know you're arrogant. I know you overestimate your own abilities, Dan. Did we do something? Not really fighting it. Just wrestling around a bit. Looks like they're fighting to me. Oh. You two gonna make up for what? Uh -huh. Giving an accurate assessment of his character. Stuff you play. You know what? I don't care about your apology. You didn't get one. Damn it, Amelia, I gave you that job at the newspaper to take your mind off that farrier. You know, go cover the school fate or ladies' auxiliary meetings. Don't go making up stories about female bush rangers. And not just any story, but one involving corruption and cover-up. Please, look at this. According to this report, a robber by the name of Henry West was shot at the Castle Main Hotel in his bed while he slept. No proof of the identity of the killer. But guess who found the body? Superintendent Fuller. So what? Well, isn't it obvious? He killed him, and now Jesse wants revenge. Why am I so cursed to have a daughter with such imagination? No, it's true. So what if it is? The chap was a known robber. Where's the harm? I'll find some proof. And then he shot him in his sleep. Bam. Just like that. So you're coming back here was about revenge? About getting him a fuller? Yep. By pulling off the biggest gold heist right under his nose. He'll be the laughing stock. He's not going to get a commission anyway. What about you breaking into his room? I didn't plan that. I saw an opportunity. I just... I took it. All right, boys, we can still do this. Let's get ready. Jack, I know young Daniel has his faults. If you're going to advise me to go to him on bending knees, I don't want your advice, Cap. Well, far be it for me to offer any astute observations gleaned on my age and experience, but without young Daniel, we're one man down. Estimating their abilities now, Jack. <laughs> that was a rash comment, I take it back. Is that an apology? Yes, it is. Not accepted. I should have listened to you, Dan. Vain, self obsessed. I never said you were vain. <laughs>
Do you think Jack is really in danger from Jesse? I don't know, but... But what? I've been tasked to find out what you know. What? Fuller thinks you have information that can help locate Jesse. So yesterday, the picnic, the, the treat of jam was all just a ploy to get me talking. I should have been honest with you yesterday. I enjoyed our time together. I want to be with you, Mary. That's why I'm telling you now. I could have stayed quiet, but I don't want us to have secrets. There is no us, Nick. This better be good. She doesn't know anything. Let me tell you what I know. Jesse was married to a thief by the name of Henry West. What happened to him? Shot dead. Give me the gold escort times, will you? Jesse and Henry West robbed their way around the diggings of Castlemaine, Ballarat. Now she's hooked up with Jack Keenan. What does that tell you? Thank you. Huh. I was right. Thieves don't change their patterns, just their partners. I don't get it. The escort arrives, it's empty, so there's nothing to steal. It leaves, it's heavily guarded. Even for Jack, that would be stupid. But they're not interested in hitting the escort. They're going to hit the assayers. Look sharp. Right. We wait until the robbery's underway. Once inside, there's no way out. They can either surrender or be shot. Is everyone clear? Is there a bonus for killing them? Move out. You're under notice. I need men I can trust. We've got till the end of the week. Careful where you're putting them hands, mister. You're not touching up my wife, are you, sir? What's wrong? Oh, don't like the heights. That might be something to mention before you go up a ladder. Good day, sir. We were you in here the other day. Yeah, we're good enough to retire on right, this time. These rocks don't look any more promising than the last lot you brought in. Hope you didn't trade any more cows for them. Nope, but they came with a 31. Not so flash now, are we? <laughs> I swear you're as dumb as that cow you never had. Gunpowder ready! Nice and easy! Easy, Cap! Oh. 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 It's cord, you're gonna have to jiggle it! Well, I'm never gonna tease it, don't let us be blown to pieces. Be friend. I'm not your friend. <laughs> I'll see ya and raise your ten shillings. <laughs> Come on, we gotta go. There's a robbery down at the Gold Assayers. What's it gonna be, friend? Are you in or out? <laughs> Good for me, man. Bit further, Cap. You'll never get your hands on this gold. Oh, easy, Chick. Look 
Okay, on a count of four. Three. Nice catch. Thanks. Dead soon. You always this much fun to have around. We have protocols for every possible situation. We're still coming in. Right then, dismount. Keep it quiet. Right then, follow me. Follow me. Keep it down. Where are they? Are oh, they inside? Can we storm the place, sir. Take up positions for when they come out. Trying to do blow themselves up. I don't know, but I don't like it. He's taking the gold down the tunnel. Let's go. Now! an escape tunnel. Two of you going after them. Sir, we can go around the outside and cut them off at the tunnel exit. Yeah. Good job, work. Yeah, open up. I got it. Come on, you big luck. Get over here and get this gold. Here, take this. <sighs> on the wagon. Get out of here, get to the horses. I think you might need some help. Oh, I'll be fine, it's a big baby. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Can't fight you. Why is that? You a coward? No, I'm not a coward, I just... I just don't want to hurt you. <laughs> Your jacket doesn't seem quite... And that definitely isn't standard issue. Well, this... No, this is... Uh, far more deadly. Why are we stopping? Something's not right. I'm going back. <laughs> it's not... As <laughs> much as you can. <laughs> Good lad. Oh, not much. Ben. Three-time Bear Knuckle Champion. 
Let's open him up, will you? about your husband. Jesse died. He killed Henry. He killed the man that I loved. The man you loved was a police snitch. He was meant to meet me that night, but he didn't turn up. No. You're lying. Jesse. Keep out of it, Jack. You know the real reason your beloved Henry didn't show? He was at the hotel with the whore, Vanessa. No. Yeah, he was cheating on you. Well, he was cheating on her too. You want to look at it from her perspective. You know what's really funny? She waited until after they made love. And then she shot him. If that's true, why wasn't it reported? Why wasn't she arrested? Jesse, if it went to trial, the public would lose a girl. And the police would be forced to admit that they had a thief on their payroll. Why waste police resources on a nothing that mattered to no one? He mattered to me. Jesse, come on, let's go. No. He's lying. She might miss, but I promise you I won't. Jesse, come on. Go. 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 Well, wasn't it complete balls up? What's my share? You're eating it. Jesse. Husband got murdered in his sleep, eh? That makes you think twice about how you get a bit, but doesn't it? Sorry about your eye. That's nothing. Should see the other girl. <laughs> we good? Well, if we're not, we're good at it. Oh, we are now. <laughs> Where you heading? Well, I've got myself a nice warm bed waiting for me at Stanley. Someone you know? Well, not well enough to kill me. Take it easy. We're closed now, Sergeant Scanlon. I'll have to ask you to leave. Hey, you can hear me out and I'll not bother you again. I've been straight with you for months, Mary. You know how I feel. I'm not in the habit of comparing myself when I when I stack my cards against Jack. Don't think I have a bad hand. You used me, manipulated my feelings. What about you, Mary? Don't ever say no just in case. Don't say yes either. To keep the door open for another. It makes it easy for you to take the higher moral ground when it suits you. Well, that's not fair, Mick, and you know it. I want to spend time with you, Mary, but if that's not enough, I can't do anything more. Wait. Uh, you doing okay? How about you and I head down to Ballarat? Change of scenery. There's plenty of gold and 
fools to part it from. You know, I kind of... I kind of like the scenery around here. Mary's a lucky woman. See you around. Nick. All this extra work. Done for bush rangers. Who's better before he came? And you think this will get rid of him? You're a fool and a thief. There's nothing wrong with making a bit of money on the side. We all do it. Or used to. You're a disgrace. It's good police work, Sergeant. I was beginning to think it was you that had done it. You seen these? It's the latest invention. Instant fire. They're brilliant. Shoot you where you stand. You wouldn't shoot me, would you, Mary? <laughs> <laughs> 